What's up guys, this is Travis with Corn Boys. Uh, this is going to be the first lesson in my series that I'm going to create for developing Android apps and eventually we'll get into game development. Um, this lesson is going to basically be just installing the software that you need to develop the apps. I already created this first lesson before, uh, but when I try to upload it for YouTube, the video just disappears somewhere. So I'm remaking it. This will be the format that I'll use for my YouTube videos. Hopefully this lesson fills up the whole YouTube screen. Uh, the next couple lessons won't and I know it will be harder to see what I'm doing. But this is hopefully the format that I'm going to be using eventually for all my videos. And first we're just going to go to Eclipse.org backslash downloads but we can just click the downloads tab and we're going to download uh, this top one right here. I'm going to do 32-bit. You can check your computer and see what it needs or whatever. Uh, you just click this link. already have it downloaded. And then once we download it, we're going to extract it into our main directory or the, or the main hard drive that you have. Mine is the C directory. So I'm just going to click here and click OK, Extract. As that is extracting, we're going to go up and we're going to need something else. You can just Google, go to Google. Um, I have the Google Chrome that I'm using, so it's just going to search in Google anyways. But you just want to search Android SDK. And you want to go to the first link, Android Developers. I'll put the, this link in as well, just in case if that doesn't come up first. And you're going to download the zip. Once you download that, and once that in, uh, it gets on downloading, you want to extract that into the same main directory that you did before. Um, again, mine is the C. As that is downloading, we're going to go to the ADT and whatever the plugin is for Eclipse. We're going to need this uh, this link down here later. You want to scroll down and copy the link. Just Control C. We're going to copy that. And as you're waiting for that stuff to download and extract, I just want to talk to you about what this web series is going to be. I want to teach someone with no knowledge. Uh, how to create their own Android application. So through these series of lessons, you're going to learn XML, which is pretty easy. Uh, we're going to learn Java. We're going to learn C. We're going to learn OpenGL. And those are the main programming languages you'll need to know to make some sweet apps and some sweet games. And obviously, if you do have some programming background, or if you know Java, or if you know XML, if you know all those programming languages, these first few lessons will be kind of slow for you. But like I said, I want to be able to catch everyone up to speed. And as the lessons go by, we'll be picking up momentum, and you'll be able to uh, learn a lot more, hopefully. And even if you do know those programming languages, uh, when we use Eclipse, we're going to use some different, uh, SD since we download the Android SDK, we're going to be using a little bit different terminology than you might be used to. So it might be useful just to follow along as well. Okay, so it looks like uh, Eclipse has extracted. So I'm just going to open up the Eclipse folder in my main C drive directory. And then we're going to go to this one right here. This opens up Eclipse. I'm just going to run it. And I definitely want some requests. So like... If you guys want an application that you want to create, uh, just give me a comment, send me an email, shoot me on Twitter, anything you want, and we can hopefully develop that through these lessons, and you can learn as you go. All right, this is what's going to load up. Um, we want to create a workspace for our Android applications. I'm just going to create a new folder because I don't want something called workspace. And click create new folder. We're going to call this uh, YouTube Android Tutorials. We're just going to we're just going to click on the main folder that we just created. Hit OK, and hit, and you want to make sure you know where that directory is because we're going to be saving uh, pictures, sounds into that directory eventually so we can use them in our Android program. This is going to be the main screen that, that pops up when you open Eclipse. You just want to exit the, the welcome page. 
And now we just have to get it ready to develop Android apps. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to um, help install new software. And you want to uh, go to add right here. In that directory that we selected earlier, I'll just go back to it. If the ADT, you want to click on here, plug in for Eclipse. You want to, you want to uh, scroll down until you get this link right here. And you just want to copy and paste this into the Eclipse uh, reference location right here. And you hit OK. You just want to hit Developer Tools, Next. Again, next. Accept the terms. Finish. It's going to install some software for you. And it asks you to restart, so we're just going to restart Eclipse. Uh, we're just going to hit OK again because it's in our same directory file that we created earlier. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, get the SDK pack into Android as well. So you want to go up to Project. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to go into um, our C directory. Uh, where we saved Eclipse and, or extracted Eclipse and Android SDK. I'm going to open up that folder real quick, the SDK manager, hit run. Once you go to the SDK manager and you run it, it will pop up with this screen. And you probably want to, I'm just going to extract or I'm going to uh, accept all of these because these are the different platforms you can create Android applications for hit install. This might take a little bit to install all of them, so I'm just going to clip the video and I'll meet you guys back here in a second. After you download all those different platforms you can create applications for, you probably just want to restart Eclipse. The next thing we're going to want to do is go back to the window um, preferences and go to your Android file and now you should see the different platforms at least hopefully here. If not, again just go back to your Android SDK, hit OK, and apply, and hopefully you, those will pop up. After that, you want to create a uh, visual device or uh, basically an emulator for uh, running your application as if it was running on an actual phone. You can also plug in your phone if you'd like to run it on your phone as well, which is pretty cool to see. To create the visual device on the computer, you want to go to Window, Android SDK, ABD Manager. Here's your visual device that you want to create. We're going to hit New, and we're just going to call it DroidX. Because I know right now DroidX is running on platform 2.2, so we're going to target it as an Android 2.2 API level 8. Um, next, you want to set up your SD your mini SD card that you have in an Android phone. We're just going to set up as 100, which is quite a bit more. But uh, we're just going to hit Create AVD. And this will basically be your emulator. And that's basically all we need. And that's basically all you need to know from this lesson is we've installed all the software that we need to start creating Android applications and game development. Please subscribe to my channel and I can keep making these videos for free. Uh, let me know if it helps you out or if you want me to change anything. If, you, if my audio sucks or if my video sucks, let me know. Or if I'm not explaining something well, just you know, hit me up on uh, Facebook, Twitter, comment box, um, or even send me an email. I'll, I'll check all those things. But again, before I go, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that I've been sick and I'm sniffing and like coughing and all this stuff in the next few videos. Even this one as well, I'm not thinking quite clearly, so I might be repeating myself. But, but again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.